Hello everyone, welcome to Current Affair MCQ's program. Let's begin with previous day's practice question. Question was, consider the following statements related to the United Nations Relief and Works Agency. One, it was established after the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. Two, it is funded almost entirely by voluntary contributions from UN member states. Which of the above statements is or are correct? Only one, only two, both one and two, or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option C, both one and two. United Nations Relief and Works Agency or UNRWA was established in 1949 by the UN General Assembly after the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. Hence, statement 1 is correct. Its mandate is to provide aid and protection to Palestinian refugees who were displaced following the 1948 Arab-Israeli conflict as well as their descendants. It operates in Gaza, the West Bank, Lebanon, Syria and Jordan. It is funded almost entirely by voluntary contributions from UN member states. Hence, statement 2 is correct. India's support to UNRWA includes financial assistance as well as providing medicines based on the agency's specific request. Hence, option C is the correct answer. Now, let's begin today's episode. First question is, consider the following statements regarding paddy cultivation. One paddy is primarily grown in areas with high humidity and temperatures ranging between 20 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. Two, the transplantation method is the most commonly used technique for paddy cultivation, which involves sowing seeds directly in the field. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two or none. The correct answer is option A, one only. Paddy cultivation. Paddy requires high humidity and warm temperatures ranging between 20 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius for optimal growth. Hence, statement 1 is correct. The transplantation method involves first growing seedlings in a nursery and then transplanting them to the field rather than sowing seeds directly in the field. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. Hence, option A is the correct answer. Next question, consider the following statements regarding the Securities and Exchange Board of India or SEBI. One SEBI was established in 1992 to regulate the securities market in India and protect the interest of investors. Two, it is a statutory body that operates under the Ministry of Finance and is responsible for formulating policies for the development and regulation of the securities market. Three, it has the authority to register and regulate stock exchanges and other securities markets. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One and two only, two and three only. 1, 2 and 3 or 1 and 3 only. The correct answer is option C, 1, 2 and 3. Securities and Exchange Board of India or SEBI was established in 1992 to regulate the securities market in India and protect the interest of investors. Hence, statement 1 is correct. It is a statutory body that operates under the Ministry of Finance and is responsible for formulating policies for the development and regulation of the securities market. Hence, statement 2 is correct. It has the authority to register and regulate stock exchanges and other securities markets. Hence, statement 3 is correct. Hence, option C is the correct answer. Next question, what unique behavior do Florida carpenter ants exhibit to help injured nest mates? They carry injured ants to a safe location and leave them to recover. They perform surgeries on injured nest mates to help them survive. They abandon injured ants to avoid spreading infections or they feed injured ants special nutrients to speed up their recovery. The correct answer is option B. They perform surgeries on injured nest mates to help them survive. Florida Carpenter Ants A study has revealed that Florida Carpenter Ants perform life-saving surgeries on injured nest mates to improve their survival chances. These ants decide whether to amputate, that is remove body part by surgery, or just clean the wound based on the location of the injury. This behavior of ants is considered the most sophisticated medical system in the animal kingdom, rivaled only by human medical practices. Hence, option B is the correct answer. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कासिड ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट रिगार्डिंग दर्टी मीटर टेलीस्कोप और टी एम टी वन इट इज बींग इंस्टॉल्ड एट माउना किया इन हवाई टू एडवांस द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द यूनिवर्स टू फ्रॉम इंडिया द टी एम टी सेंटर एट द इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एस्ट्रोफिजिक्स इन बेंगलुरु इज लीडिंग द नेशनल कोलेबोरेशन सिलेक्ट द करेक्ट आंसर यूजिंग द कोर्ट्स की वन बिलो वन ओनली टू ओनली बोथ वन इन टू और नीदर वन और टू द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी बोथ वन इन टू द थर्टी मीटर टेलीस्कोप और टी एम टी इज बींग इंस्टॉल्ड एट माउना किया इन हवाई टू एडवांस द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द यूनिवर्स इट इज एन एम्बिशियस इंटरनेशनल प्रोजेक्ट इन्वॉल्विंग इंडिया द यू एस कैनेडा चाइना एंड जापान हैं स्टेटमेंट वन इज करेक्ट From India the TMT center at the Indian Institute of Astrophysics in Bengaluru is leading the national collaboration hence statement 2 is correct hence option C is the correct answer Next question regarding the positive indigenization list or PIL consider the following statements One it is a list of items that can be purchased by the Indian armed forces from defense PSUs only Two, the concept was introduced in the Defence Acquisition Procedure 2020. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option B, two only. Positive Indigenisation List or PIL is a list of items that can be purchased by the Indian Armed Forces from domestic manufacturers, including private sector or defence PSUs. Hence, statement one is not correct. The concept was introduced in the Defence Acquisition Procedure 2020 focusing on import substitution for major systems, platforms, weapon systems, sensors and munitions. Hence statement 2 is correct. Hence option B is the correct answer. Next question consider the following statements regarding the Eclavia model, residential schools or EMRS. One EMRS is a scheme for making model residential schools for SCs and STs across India. Two, the states and union territories are responsible for seeking and managing sanctions for new schools. Three, the nodal ministry for EMRS is the Ministry of Tribal Affairs. Which of the above statements is or are correct? One and two only, two only, three only, or one and three only? The correct answer is option C, three only. Eclavia Model Residential Schools or EMRS is a scheme for making model residential schools for STs across India. Hence statement 1 is not correct. It was started in the year 1997-98 and the revamping of the EMRS scheme was approved by the cabinet in 2018-19. The new guidelines in 2018-19 gave the union government more power to sanction schools and manage them. Hence statement 2 is not correct. The Northern Ministry for EMRS is the Ministry of Tribal Affairs. Hence statement 3 is correct. Hence option C is the correct answer. Next question, consider the following statements regarding the reservation policies in the Constitution of India. 1 Article 15 sub section 3 enables the state to make any special provision for women and children. 2 Article 15 Sub section 4A provides that the state can make any provision for reservation in matters of promotion in favor of the scheduled caste and the scheduled tribes. 3 Article 16 sub section 6 was inserted by the 105th Constitutional Amendment Act 2019. Which of the above statements is or are correct? 1 only, 1 and 2 only, 3 only or 1 and 3 only. The correct answer is option A, 1 only. Article 15 sub section 3 enables the state to make any special provision for women and children hence statement 1 is correct Article 16 sub section 4a provides that the state can make any provision for reservation in matters of promotion in favor of the scheduled caste and the scheduled tribes if they are not adequately represented in the services under the state hence statement 2 is not correct Article 16 sub section 6 provides that the state can make any provision for the reservation of appointments or post in favor of any economically weaker sections it was inserted by the 103rd constitutional amendment act 2019 hence statement 3 is not correct hence option a is the correct answer next question consider the following statements about project asmita One it is a collaborative effort of the UGC and the Bharatiya Bhasha Samiti to promote Indian languages in education. 313 nodal universities along with member universities from various regions will lead this project. Which of the statements given above is or are not correct? 
only one only two both one and two or neither one nor two the correct answer is option d neither one nor two that is both the statements are correct project asmita was launched by the union ministry of education and the university grants commission it is a collaborative effort of the ugc and the bharatiya bhasha samiti to promote indian languages in education hence statement 1 is correct the ugc was established in 1953 and became a statutory organization in 1956 for the coordination determination and maintenance of standards of teaching examination and research in university education Bharatiya Bhasha Samiti is a high powered committee for the promotion of Indian languages constituted by the Ministry of Education in 2021 13 nodal universities along with member universities from various regions have been identified to lead this project hence statement 2 is correct the UGC has created a standard operating procedure for the book writing process in each assigned language hence option D is the correct answer Next question consider the following statements related to maize production in India one Karnataka Madhya Pradesh and Bihar are the primary maize growing states two Bangladesh Vietnam and Nepal are key markets for indian maize three it can be used as a substitute for rice in ethanol blending how many of the above statements is or are correct only one only two all three or none the correct answer is option c all three since 1999 to 2000 india's maize production has more than tripled increasing from 11.5 million tons to over 35 million tons annually with average per hectare yields also rising from 1.8 to 3.3 tons Karnataka Madhya Pradesh Bihar Tamil Nadu Telangana Maharashtra and Andhra Pradesh are the primary maize growing states hence statement 1 is correct export volume India exported 3 million 453680.58 mt of Maize worth rupees 8987.13 crores in 2022-23. Bangladesh, Vietnam, Nepal, Malaysia and Sri Lanka are key markets for Indian maize. Hence statement 2 is correct. Recent developments have shifted focus to using maize for ethanol production, particularly as a substitute for rice in ethanol blending. Hence statement 3 is correct. Hence option C is the correct answer. Last question consider the following statements related to electronic voting machines one they were first used in the paravur assembly constituency of kerala in the year 1982 two they are stand alone machines and there is no operating system used in these machines which of the above statements is or are correct only one only two both one and two or neither one nor two the correct answer is option c both one and two evm is a device used to record votes electronically They were first used in the Paravur Assembly constituency of Kerala in the year 1982. Hence statement 1 is correct. Since 1998 the election commission has increasingly used EM EVMs instead of ballot boxes. In 2003 all state elections and by elections were held using EVMs. Encouraged by this in 2004 the commission took a historic decision to use only EVMs. for the lok sabha elections the microchip used in evms is a one time programmable masked chip which can neither be read nor overwritten furthermore the evms are stand alone machines and there is no operating system used in these machines hence statement 2 is correct hence option c is the correct answer now is the time for practice question consider the following statements regarding robot tax One a robot tax is the idea that businesses substituting human employees with automated machines should be obligated to pay a tax. Two when companies replace people with machines the government loses tax revenue. Which one of the following is correct in respect of the above statements? Both statements are correct and statement 2 is the correct explanation for statement 1. Both statements 1 and 2 are correct and statement 2 is not the correct explanation for statement 1. statement 1 is correct but statement 2 is incorrect or statement 1 is incorrect but statement 2 is correct send the answer of this question in the comment section stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications